Hello and welcome to the video for March the 20th for fourth grade. This covers place value. Um, so it's going to be asking to identify the word form, uh, number form, and expanded form of different numbers and giving the place value for um, certain digits within a number. So number one and number two are using this question up here. So 813,027 tickets. Um, so number one, what is the word form of the number of tickets sold? It would be 813,027. That matches letter D. Number two, the expanded form. So we want to write the value of each um, digit by place value. So 800,000 plus 10,000 plus 3,000 um, plus 20 plus 7. So I was following along with letter D. Um, our correct answer is going to be letter B. So 800 plus 10,000 plus 3,000 plus 20 plus 7. Number three, what is the standard form of 20,605? And that would be letter C. Uh, number four, a company distributes 63,048 copies of a daily newspaper. What is the value of the six? That would be worth uh, 10,000. It's in the 10,000th place, so it would be worth 60,000. Number eight, which statement is true? So to start with, we have 40,000 plus 10,000. That would actually take us up to 50,000. So this one's not going to work. Uh, 60,000 um, equals 6,000. Again, that's not going to work. Uh, 50,709. So I have 50,709. So letter C would work. Uh, letter D, 917,012. And I have 917,012, so that one's going to work. 100,000 plus 40,000 uh, plus 400 plus 80 plus 1. Uh, this doesn't match up. If I had the 4 in this position, that would work. Uh, and then the last option, 300,000 plus 5,000 plus 100 plus 90 should give us 305,190. That does match. So letter C, D, and F for that. Um, number nine, look at the value of the first row of the table. Uh, what is the value of a digit in each number in the first column? So they are asking which of these options match up with the place value of a digit for each of these four numbers. So the first one, I do have an eight in the hundred thousands place, so that one is going to be an option. I have a six in the thousands place. I don't have a three in the hundreds place. I do have a six in the tens place, and I do have a one in the ones place. And looking at the rest of those, this will be the only time I use this box. Um, so again, I have an eight in the hundred thousands place. I have a six in the thousands place. I have a three hundred. I have a three in the hundreds place for three hundred. I do not have a six in the tens place, and I do not have a one in the ones place. Uh, my last two options. I'm not going to use this box. I'm actually going to use this one. So I have. Um, 80,000. I do have a 6,000 for the first one. I have a 300 and I have a 60, but I do not have a 1. And the bottom one, I have 80,000. I do not have a 6,000. I do not have a 300. I do not have a 60 and I do not have a 1. So this would be our only option uh, for the bottom one on number 9. Number 11, which shows the value of a digit. So let's start with our largest digit. The 8 is in the 10,000s place and is equal to 8 times 10,000. So that would match letter F. My next digit is in the 1,000s place and would be 3 times 1,000. That matches letter E. I have uh, 5 in the 100s place, which would be 5 times 100. Uh, there's a 5 times 10, but there's no 5 times 100, so I don't have an answer for that. Uh, 6 times 10 would be uh, letter D, and then this one would be 2 times 1, and I do have letter B, which is 2 times 1. So those are our correct answers for that. Uh, number 14, I went ahead and typed this in just to save time. So what I would do to start with is start with the ones place, and $1 bills, I would use 16000 for this one, 345000 for this one, and 602000 for this. And then I can go ahead and shrink the number by one zero each time. 
And each time that I do that, I would be multiplying by a power of 10. So $10, I would use 1,600, then 160 uh, for the $100 bills, and then uh, 16 $1,000 bills. And then I can do that all the way across. So $34,510 $10 bills, uh, $3,450 $100 bills, and $345 uh, $1,000 bills, and then the same thing for the bottom. Uh, number 15, Brian says the value of 7 in 157,683 and the value of 7 in the number 945,721 are the same. Is he correct or incorrect? He is not correct. So the value uh, for the 7 here is in the thousands place, so it would be worth 7,000. In this number, it would be only worth 700. And that should be our last problem for today. So... Hopefully everybody's uh, been successful with the homework this week. If you have any questions or comments, again, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, this will be the last video until a week from Tuesday because next week is our spring break. Um, because I didn't have Ernie in the video today, I do have an extra bonus video that I will put out that uh, shows him being incredibly hyper and playing uh, before we ended up recording the video. Um, please know that that all of you and your families are in our thoughts and prayers as uh, teachers and staff at Risen Christ Lutheran School. Uh, we are praying for all of you on a daily basis. Hope for uh, your well-being and health and safety during this time. Um, again, if we have any further updates, uh, we will be sure to pass those along. Hope you have a great weekend and a great spring break, and we will see you a week from Tuesday.